Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Glyphs are finally here. Today we are going to have a good look at these things, try and put a few sets together, see what kind of results we can get, and more importantly, just see how much these stats are going to be able to be boosted by the glyphs. Now the other thing is that I know a lot of players are going to be very curious about just how much speed we can add to our characters and what kind of effect that is going to have. I will be having a good look at speed just to see what kind of stats we can come up with. I will be focusing on my arena team which is the Rivendell team. I suggest that is where you start because that's really going to affect you on a daily basis. Once you get that team up and running, you can start expanding into some of your other raid teams. But one thing I would avoid doing is spending all of your resources farming these things because we will be getting them from a number of different areas. So just be a little bit patient. You can start focusing on some of the sets that you really want to farm for specific characters. Try and get some sets on your characters first before you go crazy trying to swap things out. So let's get into this. We're going to start with Elodin. Now the one thing that you really have to remember with your characters is what their particular role is within the team. When you look at Elodin, he is your tank. He is the one that's going to defend the other elves, allowing them to do the damage and give all the other boons to your team. So that's what you gotta focus on. Make sure you get him as defensive as you possibly can. But the first thing that it's gonna want us to do here is add the armor piercer. This is probably the least impressive set that is currently in the game, but that's probably why they want you to work with this first. But adding this one to your character is just part of the tutorial. You probably will have to spend some gold to upgrade them because I know that there are some new quests attached to this and upgrading this one is going to be part of that. And that is the catch with the glyphs. In order to reveal all of their stats, you do have to get them up to level 5. So you are going to be spending a little bit of gold on these things just to find out what stats they are. So try and only work with the sets that you really want to upgrade. And one thing that you'll notice straight away is that these glyphs are all facing in different directions as well. So depending on whether you need a set of two or a set of four to get the bonuses off these things, you're also going to need to make sure that you've got them in those different directions. But let's go ahead and apply our first glyph Hopefully it doesn't cost anything to remove this one because I don't really want to have to spend too much gold on a tutorial. So we'll pop this one into the first slot there. And you can see in the green it will highlight the boost that it will give those particular stats. But then this is good. It looks like you have to confirm that selection before it locks it in. After that I do believe it will cost you gold to swap them over. I mean, it's not going to be a lot of gold, but these things are going to use a lot of gold just for upgrades, and that's just to reveal their four stats. Okay, let's get rid of this tutorial. I don't want to be working with these armor piercer glyphs. They're not very good. 2% armor piercing I don't think is really going to do much for any character. Let me know if I'm wrong on that. Maybe I'm misunderstanding those statistics there. But let's work with something that I actually want to use. And for Elodin, I'm going to start with the last stand set. So that way, as soon as he drops below 25 health, he'll immediately gain a turn. He'll lose three Banes and regain one Stamina at random for one of his abilities. So let's search for them and we're going to see what kind of drop rates we get on these Glyphs. And you can see here, obviously, if you want to spend the money, you can spend the money. You can get plenty of glyphs. The packs aren't too expensive, but you are farming these ones on hard nodes. It's probably better to avoid the ones with more energy for the time being. Just stick to the 12 energy for now. And hopefully from these five attempts, we're going to get four glyphs. And there you go, we did get four, and there are four different ones as well. So that is a complete set 
just from those five attempts. So let's apply these to Elodin and we'll upgrade a few of these just to see what kind of stats we can get. So just hit confirm, lock them in. Now you're going to be able to upgrade each of these glyphs. So let's take a look at the first one here. And as you can see, it's 5,300 gold just to reveal the four stats. So this will take you all the way up to level five. So you're going to want to do that first, and that's going to reveal your four substats. If you're not happy with the stats, you can sell the glyph. For now, I wouldn't be doing that. Because I do have that set of four on Elodin, what I will do in the future as I get more of these types of glyphs, I can always go back, compare the stats on each one, then just swap them out as needed. Then for any other character that I want to run this same set on, I can always go and add that to them until I'm able to farm more, so on and so forth. We will eventually get to a stage where we're going to have so many glyphs that you will be selling the ones that you're not really all that happy with. But the one thing that I will say is just because it doesn't have speed on it doesn't mean you should sell it. Now once we do have all four of these done, they're all going to be at level 5, we cannot put them past this without getting these magical scrolls. You also can't level a glyph higher than the gear level of your character. If you do swap them out and you do have, say, a character that was gear 8 that you're able to get these up to level 8, then you put it on a character that's only gear level 6. Those other two upgrades that you had for 7 and 8 will not apply until that character gets up to that same gear level. They will only get up to that gear 6 upgrade. Now for these magical scrolls, there are a couple of places that we can get them from at the moment. The first one is going to be from some new quests that we have. The other one will be from raid rewards. We're going to have a look at the quests first. And I have done the upgrade for the armor piercer, so that way we can move on with these quests. So let's claim some more glyphs here. This one will give us some scrolls to do some more upgrades. We then get another glyph for actually doing that quest. Now for this one here, I will have to get the armor piercer up to level 6 as well, which is a shame. But there we go, I've done that. Let's just get these quests out the way. We've got those materials that we're going to need to do some other upgrades. But now that we have those materials, we can see just how much these stats might be able to boost. But you can even see here with the speed stat on this one, it's only 1.14 speed. You're not going to get these massive boosts that we're all worried about from the looks of it. To get 45 extra speed off your six glyphs, you are going to need a lot of luck. Even just to get speed in the first place with a decent stat, and then to be able to get the maximum stat on every single upgrade after that, it's going to be very, very difficult to get that. My prediction is that anything over 20 speed on all six glyphs is going to be something quite rare, and they would be considered some really good glyphs that you have. One thing that I am really curious about is what they've done with the updated raid rewards. So let's have a quick look at that. And as you can see, we get plenty of magic scrolls, but for some reason Gandalf has disappeared from the guild chest. This is for guild chest number three. So I'm just going to have a look at number four. So you need to get up to number four. It looks like every second guild chest now is going to have the Gandalf shards in them and by the looks of it you're still only going to be able to claim one chest it'd be different if you could claim every chest up to that point but it doesn't look like that's going to be the case I think this could potentially upset quite a lot of people yeah see it looks like yeah every second chest is then going to have the Gandalf shards in them 
I wonder what they've done with the personal rewards. Let's take a look at that. Looks like they've added a few extra nodes in there so that we can get those scrolls. But given that we've already had some issues with this update where chapter three has really become so difficult with double stacks of captured being applied to characters. So we're not able to get the scores that we were able to get previously. I know that that's going to get fixed, but that could really mean the difference between a guild getting chest number four and having to get guild chest number three and not having Gandalf in there. So they haven't even increased the number of Gandalf shards that you get on the personal rewards. I really hope they fix that because the whole point of playing the raid the way that we have been playing it so often is to be able to unlock Gandalf. Now if it's going to be even more difficult to do that, players really aren't going to respond to that in a positive way. So it looks like there will be a little bit of farming to do at the start for these glyphs. However, the drop rates on them do look like they are really good. So hopefully we can get a lot of these into our inventory pretty quick and start leveling some of these glyphs up so that we have a chance to test these out in a few different scenarios. Overall, there are a few positives and a few negatives. I'd be really interested to hear what you guys think in the comments below. How do you feel about the changes that have been made to the raid rewards? I think that's going to be a pretty big talking point. But also, what characters are you looking to put these glyphs on first? What sets do you think will work best on different characters? And maybe just for fun, what's the biggest stat boost that you were able to get on speed with your first couple of glyphs? I'm sure there are going to be so many different videos that we're going to be able to make with these glyphs. But that's it for this one, guys. If you'd like to support the channel, a super thanks would be very much appreciated. Other than that, like and sub, you know the deal. We got plenty more Heroes of Middle Earth coming your way. Don't miss out, and we'll catch you in the next one.